Hi again, everyone, and welcome to the high school basketball game of the week here on WHHI Sports TV. I'm Dale Planica alongside Chris Conifree. And Chris, tonight we are bringing the Lady Seahawks as they host the Warriors, the Lady Warriors from RB Stahl here on Hilton Head Island. Should be quite a matchup. It is. I mean, it's senior night, but it's not about the seniors. Uh, the Stahl Warriors, led by uh, by uh, Alexis Richardson, a sophomore, averaged about 19 a game. And uh, Hilton Head, led by another sophomore, uh, in Americal Jenkins, who's averaging about 15 a game, but she's gone bananas in a couple different ones. I've seen her go for 30 and 20, uh, 30 points, 20 rebounds. And so, uh, again, the youth leading the movement here on both teams. Well, the, uh, the Seahawks uh, come in with a 15 and 7 record. They're 5 and 3 in region play. This is a region game for them. And uh, this should be a good matchup between the two teams. Absolutely. Uh, another you know, noteworthy point, you have um, five freshmen and a sophomore just in the rotation alone for the Stall Warriors. I hate to keep bringing up the youth uh, part of it, but they're getting some experience as the season goes on, and both are excited about once, they, uh, once the playoff rolls around. Well, we got uh, Coach David Greenberg from Hilton Head High School. He, he'll be coaching the ladies tonight from the Lady Seahawks. The veteran. And Jeff Emery. Uh, from uh, RB Stahl, and they came all the way down here from Charleston for this matchup tonight. So it should be quite a game. Looking forward to it. All right, you're watching the high school game of the week on WHHI Sports. Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. At Buford Academy, we place emphasis first on academic success, but also on the whole child by encouraging participation in school sports and clubs. The BA community offers a safe and nurturing environment. Buford Academy continues to be the best choice for our children. With small class sizes, we make big impressions. Buford Academy is the reliable school of choice, educating young people for almost 50 years. BA, experience the difference firsthand. Number 13, a sophomore starting at guard, 
WHHI's Basketball Game of the Week here on Sports Channel 8 and Channel 3 Time Warner. I'm Dale Planica alongside Chris Conifer, and tonight we're bringing you first in a, uh, of our career as far as I'm concerned that uh, we bring the ladies tonight as the Lady Seahawks of Hilton High School will host the Lady Warriors of RB Stall. And it sounds like it'll be a good one to start off with too. And the Seahawks control the opening tip. The starters were uh, Shy Fleming, number 11. Sat up, no good. That was by Jenkins. Miracle Jenkins, only a sophomore. You're going to 32. see a lot more than that tonight. A lot more Hilton Head trying to do that. They got a turnover, and they'll come back the other way. The other starters for the Hilton Head started their senior is Macy King, number 12. Uh, Aureli Fernandez, number 15. Lauren Bush, number 13. A sophomore, and, and also Miracle Jenkins, 32. Ahead, and scoring it, number 15, Aureli Fernandez. So, Seahawks get on the board early. And here come the Warriors. Warriors come to the game with a 14 and 5 overall record. Three and five in the region. Shot up, no good. Rebound taken down ahead. Long pass underneath and scoring it. Two great Here's passes by Lauren Bush. Macy King with the score. She can play. Lauren Bush can play about three different positions, and she uh, displays her passing ability there. You'll see her push it up the floor. She's uh, wise, well beyond her years. She's a sophomore, but uh, but started as a freshman last year. Well, there's a quick timeout on the court. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the High School Game of the Week on WHHI Sports. Oh, salty dog. Oh, salty dog. You're sly as a fox, you salty dog. Captain Cherokee sitting in a tree, a kiwi waving back at me. But I won't you be the salty dog. Oh, salty dog. Oh, salty dog. You're sly as a fox, you salty dog. Down south we sit by the dog, singing a song about a song to dog. Honey, won't you be the song to dog? H&H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H Auto. Okay, we're back here at the Nest on Hilton Head High School's campus as the Seahawks have taken an early 4-0 lead over the Warriors from RB Stall. There's a turnover. And here come the Seahawks with it. We mentioned in the pregame that uh, Stahl has five freshmen and a sophomore in their rotation. If you're Hilton Head, you, you figure you want to take, at least take a shot with putting some pressure on the ball with a, with a group that young. This it's worked one three it. times. Lauren Bush, top of the key, takes a look. Bush now open in the corner, gets it, feeds it inside, and locked, stripped away, and we get a foul. Seahawks will retain possession here on their own basket. It'll be Lauren Bush to trigger it, number 13. Only a sophomore. Beats it underneath. 
and that's America Jenkins. Six nothing Seahawks. Nice play drawn up there by David Greenberg. Uh, just. America Jenkins went set a screen and then you can the person that'll set the screen in that situation will be open 90% of the time and that's just what they did there. Three pointer on its way no good rebound to the Warriors. And the ball is retained. Corner and thrown away. Turnover. And we got our first sub of the game. Tadeja McLean comes into the ball game. And uh, she'll replace. Second, Simpson came out. Bush has it. Two pointer on its way and good. Macy King is half the team's points at this point. Eight nothing. Shot up off the rim, no good. Ripped down by Jenkins. Another great pass ahead. by Bush. Didn't make the layup. A little bit too far underneath. It was Fernandez. Hilton had really running out on offense. Stahl's got to get back a little better on D. This is Simpson with it, number 11. Drives in, puts it up. Off the rim, no good. See, that's there again. Uh, and a little, a little kick pass. Shot up, no good. And the rebound goes to Essence Lloyd, number 12. She brings it across the timeline into the forecourt. Essence Lloyd, one of their senior leaders. They have a young group out there now. Could use some leadership from Essence Lloyd. Yeah. Off the rim, and it's going to stay with RB Stahl. Today's game brought to you by Salty Dog Cafe. Get your Salty Dog T-shirt at the Salty Dog T-shirt Factory, located at South Beach Marina or on the Arrow Road. And you can pick one up anytime at their website, saltydog.com. Salty Dog brings us the replays tonight. Shot up, off the rim, won't go. Rebound up and good by Jenkins. Really have to box out a miracle, Jenkins. She can do that all night. Yet Five another great 11. pass by uh, by by uh, Lauren Bush. Shot up, no good. Jenkins with the rebound. Lauren Bush could have about six six assists by now if if, uh, if they would have made every layup. Fernandez and the Jenkins. Jenkins goes up. Can't can't give her that Gets there. Gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. You, can't, all night. you can't let her get it that, that easily on the block. Again, it's Simpson. She's only a freshman. Another one of the freshmen the coach talked about earlier, that coach uh, Jeff Emery talked about it earlier today. Shot up and good, scored by Essence Lloyd. There's a leadership we we're looking for. Pressure and turns over. And coming into the ball game is 23. Savannah Rear. Sometimes Meyer. with a young team, players that age, you're talking about 14 and 15 year old kids. It takes a while to sometimes learn how to prepare for a game. You got a long bus ride down from Charleston, and uh, you know it, it need you need some veteran leadership to to have that focus going in. The focus has got to start at about four o'clock in the afternoon. And sometimes on the younger teams, it takes a little longer to just uh, to uh, get in sync as the game starts. Seeing a little about it now. Well, we got, got some youngsters out there now for Hilton. Three sophomores and a freshman. Shot up, no good. The Rachel friend of a, uh, a sophomore. Back out to and Savannah Rear, a freshman as well. Shut up, no good. That was Deion Campbell, number 25, taking that shot. Campbell also a sophomore. So we got four sophomores and a freshman out there. Yeah. 
We said it earlier. It's it's uh shot up long range two shot two pointer. Deja Good Butler shot by Deja here. Butler. Two points. She's a freshman. We Driving mentioned it earlier. In and not getting the score, but getting to the foul line is number 10, Rachel Friend. Good, good move by Rachel Friend there. Just getting getting from point A to point B. I tell young guards that all the time as a coach. You don't want to waste a lot of time going east and west. Just go north and south, get right to the rim. Friend for two shots. First one is up and good. Tonight's game brought to you by Walgreens. Photo portraits are now available in your store at your local Walgreens. Schedule an appointment today and preserve your memories for a lifetime. At Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. Alexis Friend. Richardson back in. Get some both. Stahl's going to need something from Alexis Richardson. Stolen. Pushing it. Push. Doesn't get it because getting a rebound is Jenkins. That's about the 450th time this year that America Jenkins has done that. Push. And can't get it to fall. But she gets the foul shot coming up. That's about Lauren Bush's fifth steal. <laughs> Tonight's game. Unofficially. Brought. All right, tonight's game brought to you by the New River Auto Mall, where they have it all. Over 1,000 vehicles at 12 dealerships in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall and stay tuned for the New River Auto Mall halftime show. Bush's first one is up, no good. She'll try and split the pair. Lit on the basket for yeah, Hilton Head tonight. could be up about 20 right now if they'd make some layups and some foul shots. I'm sure that I'm sure Coach Green is, Greenberg is going to remind him of that. Ball's inside, back out now. Stall feeds it inside. Shot up, no good. It was Richardson trying to make it, couldn't get it. That's who they're looking for. Pass is intercepted, coming back the other way. You don't mind that if you coach Greenberg. Lauren Bush has just had her head up the entire game, and uh, you, you'll take your chances throwing a long pass to an America Jenkins there. Less than a minute to play, first quarter. Oh, stolen. Taking right back, stolen again. Coming our way. And here's Richardson going back the other way. Short one's up, no good, but she got fouled and she'll go to the line. Sion Campbell just got caught turned around, not know where the ball was there. But she's a tremendous presence inside. She has been all season. Not only blocking shots, but just altering them. Richardson at the line, shoot two. 37 seconds to go, first quarter. Got the first. Tonight's game brought to you by WHHI TV, who has the only local newscast at 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. Tune in every day for the Hilton Head News with Allie McNair, the Bluffton News with Annalisa Ictor, and the Buford News with Jessa Jeremiah. And local news brought to you on Hargrave Channel 8, Time Warner Channel 3, here in Buford County. Missed them both, 16-5. Excuse me, just put a pair, 16-5. Need underneath, up and good. Textbook press break right there by Hilton Head. Jenkins has already got 10. Richardson feeds it in the corner. Back out top now to Patrick, 32. One point four seconds yeah. to go here, first quarter. As a player, just step on the baseline, try to take the charge. You don't want to get a reach there, especially if you're Miracle Jenkins. Eighteen to five is the score here, first quarter. Inbound, and shot is up and won't go. That's
that's the end of the first quarter of play. The Lady Seahawks lead it 18 to 5 over the Lady Warriors. You're watching the high school game of the week on WHHI Sports. At Buford Academy, we place emphasis first on academic success, but also on the whole child by encouraging participation in school sports and clubs. The BA community offers a safe and nurturing environment. Buford Academy continues to be the best choice for our children. With small class sizes, we make big impressions. Buford Academy is the reliable school of choice, educating young people for almost 50 years. BA, experience the difference firsthand. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. We are back at the nest here on Hilton Head Island where the Lady Seahawks lead at 18 to five to start the second quarter of play over the Lady Warriors from RV Stahl. Stahl will put it in play to start the second quarter. Stahl down 13, probably probably lucky to be down 13. Just uh, got very out of sorts in the first quarter. Look at, if you're, the, if you're uh, Coach Jeff Emery, you just want to tell him to just settle down. Go, you're going 115 miles an hour, go about 85. Number 23 is the foul. That's the first and the team's third. Oh, no, now we got a five second call. They couldn't get it in bounds. So turnover will go over to the Seahawks. And when Bush feeds it ahead, we got a travel violation. A little traveling music there. So the Warriors will get it back, trailing by 13. That's something we're getting used to seeing is, is uh, Bush just throwing a perfect pass on, <laughs> to, to break a press for somebody for a layup. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Bush. Warren takes it down, brings it across the timeline. Drives it all the way in, puts it up. No good rebound, though, underneath. And it's America Jenkins. Gets the rebound, puts it up. Doesn't hit the basket, but gets fouled. But I'll tell you, everybody on this Hilton Head team so far just knows their role. You have uh, Lauren Bush just distributes, takes a shot when it's there. America Jenkins just gets every rebound, puts it back, keeps it high. Everything's very nice and basic. Just a well-coached team, you can see, after a quarter and a half of play. Jenkins gets the first. She has 11 in the ball game. And one more. Not up no good. Miracle Jenkins has 12 points and she's touched the ball for a total of about 40 seconds. That's efficiency. So Aria Simpson, number 11, she's only a freshman, puts up the first, doesn't get it. And Essence Lloyd comes back to the ball game for the Warriors. Nice little shooting stroke on Zlaria Simpson, though. You look for that in a ninth grader. Sometimes you make it, you play varsity as a ninth grader because you're you're an exceptional athlete. She's there because she has excep exceptional skill set. I gotta stop trying to say excep exceptional. God, she's got a great good. skill set. Yeah. My goodness. All the way in. There's a miracle, Jenkins underneath. Wow. 22 to 6. B underneath. Scoring it is number 34. That's Tadeja McLean. Rebound down and ripped. 
Good rebound by Macy King. Macy King will go to the line for two shots. Hey fans, you can get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory located at South Beach Marina or on the Arrow Road. And you can pick one up anytime on their website, www.saltydog.com. Salty Dog, one of our proud sponsors tonight, and also brings you all of the instant replays. I want to thank them for that. Makes them both. 24 to 8 ball game. Oh, a little traveling music. I thought Salt may have had the right idea there, though. Spread the floor out a little bit and try to maybe get something for a uh, for uh, Alexis Richardson off the dribble. When, when you're playing a big team like a Hilton Head, they're so long and, and disciplined, and, and, the, and they're not going to make any silly fouls. So if you can get the big, the big players a little bit further away from the basket, it gives you a little more, a little more of a chance. Nice interception there Good by pull up. Stahl. Taken down. Warren Bush has got it. Drives in, backs it out now. All the way down with Savannah Ryer. Another steal. This is Brennan O'Gorman, number 30 in the ball game. Pretty good move by Savannah Ryer. In a pretty good position, playing as a freshman. Has a couple, I won't even call them upperclassmen, but on this team they are, sophomores. O'Gorman also a sophomore. Shot in the corner, doesn't go, rebound. And Shy Fleming tries to get out, stolen. Driving in and scoring it. Number 13, Lauren Bush. Lauren Bush has made the right decision every time she's touched the ball. And it's number 12 driving in, but able to score it. Number 13, Lauren Bush. Lloyd will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, if you're Jenkins there, just go straight up. The ref will always call if you if you bring that hand down in a shot blocking motion. Lloyd gets the first to make it 26 to 9. And Zian Campbell, number 25, returns but to the lineup for the Seahawks. As a player, all you have to do is get pulled out with five minutes left in the, in the second quarter a few times, and then you'll learn how to not to. Uh, how to, how to just go straight up. Lloyd gets them both. 26 to 10 now for the Seahawks. 5.14 to go here in the first half of play. This is Ryer. And unable to hang on to it, so that it'll turn over to. The Warriors. A little more pressure here from Stahl. That's probably a pretty good idea too. Hilton has been easy. Been it's been a little bit easier for them to make a uh, whatever pass they wanted to. If Stahl can make them a little bit that a little bit more difficult, that can force them into some bad decisions, like that one. Wide open underneath, and scoring it is number 23, Shelby McGuire. Just forgot who they had on D there. 14 point lead. Lauren Bush drives it in, kicks it out. Shot up, no good by O'Gorman. And here come the Warriors. Come back the other way. Shot up, got it. That's his boy. She's one of the seniors. Trying to provide some leadership. Good job. O'Gorman. Puts it up and got it. Great feed. Warren Bush. Yet another another good pass from Lauren Bush. 
Brennan O'Gorman, the Italian girl. <laughs> Good run out by Brennan O'Gorman, though. Simpson, well, as you said, they're starting to warm up here in the second quarter. It's, yeah. We should have got off the bus about an hour earlier. Exactly. They're going to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the high school game of the week. On WHHI Sports. We are back here at the nest on Hilton Head Island. I'm Dale Planica, Chris Conifree alongside, and we've got uh, the Seahawks, the Lady Seahawks, with a 28-16 lead. There's a steal by Stahl. They'll come back the other way now. And that's stolen. This is Ryer with it. Just need one less dribble on that if you're up since Lloyd. Needs an inside. Good catch. And unable to get it. Warren Bush. Back and all the way over here. Number 21. Number 21. Number 21. So it'll go over to Stahl. Tonight's game brought to you by Walgreens, where photo portraits are now available in store at your local Walgreens. Schedule an appointment today and reserve your memories for a lifetime. At Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. Good pressure there on the ball by Austin Selbach. This Lloyd can't make it go. Which way is going to stay with Stahl. Three minutes to go here in the first half of play. 28-16 is your score in favor of the Seahawks. Shot in the corner, no good. Rebound stolen. Good close out there by Savannah Ryer, though. Did everything he's supposed to do. Got a hand up and boxed out the shooter. Shot up by Simpson, and it goes. <laughs> Larry Simpson started to show off that skill set we talked about earlier. Nice drive there. Up ahead. Rebound. Scoring it. It's Lauren Bush. Yes. Hilton Head is just everywhere they're supposed to be. Austin Selbach, Sealback came in a minute ago and she's, she's put on great ball pressure and had two runouts and got a good look there. The rebound. Traveling, traveling, yeah. We'll come back. Stall. Halftime will be brought to you by the New River Auto Mall, where they have it all. Over 1,000 vehicles and 12 dealerships, all in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall. <coughs> well, the free throw shooting contest at halftime. Always an exciting night. Event. Always very exciting. Here's Lauren Bush taking it to the basket and doesn't get it. And it's going to go off of the Seahawks. Austin Sealback couldn't hold on to it. 2.04 to go. Number you can make one run here with two minutes left if you're still, you can steal this game. Hilton Head's missed about six or seven layups. They're, they're in such control here, but Stahl's just not going away. Played a pretty even quarter here in the second quarter. Yeah, it, it doesn't, this game doesn't feel that close. Good skip pass. Good swing to the outside, off, and out of bounds. It'll belong to the Warriors. Hey, 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 hey. 
And they're hanging around without without Alexis Richardson there. It's right on cue. Shot up and good. She says, what do you mean without Alexis Richardson? I'm right here. Alexis Richardson has two. But you get, a ten on, point ball game. you get on a nice little run from her. Sealback puts it up and gets fouled. And Austin will go to the line. Great move two. there. Great move there by Sealback. Catching it. Eighth grader. Yeah, uh, she's got a bright future ahead of her. Catching it, getting her feet set, making it, getting it a triple threat position, and just making it a, a move off of that, going right to the basket. Most young kids would have walked, First or maybe tried, or maybe tried to rush it. Showing a lot of poise for an eighth grader. Austin gets the first. Alexis Patrick returns to the lineup for the Warriors, number 32. Second one, no good, but stolen. And we got an over and back. So, backcourt violation, and it'll go back to Stahl with a minute 12 to go. Seahawks leaving, leading by 11. And Stahl can cut it to single digits here. As Patrick has it, beats it inside. Going up strong, what do we got? Rattling music. Pressure. Hilton had got away with one there. You don't want to get Alexis Richardson alone on the block there. Or give it give her that. Stolen. That was just a matter of strength. Kind of pulled it right over her hand. Yeah, Jeff Emery saying before the game how how athletic she, she was. She didn't really have a position, and she showed that right there. She's just a basketball player. Richardson will shoot two. She's been a little quiet so far tonight. As a player, sometimes that's the best place to get it going. Just get something to the basket, draw a foul. Get a little rhythm at the foul line. They'll try and split the pair now. She missed the first. Up and good. So she's got four on the night. Warren Bush comes back and beats the ball. Better job of pressure on Stahl. Good pressure by Stahl. Great job the with the pressure there. Shot up and good. Richardson. Alexis Richardson taking my get to the free throw line advice. Long pass down for it. And it'll stay with the Seahawks with 33 seconds to go here. Yeah, this stall team is young and energetic. You can cover a lot of ground. They, they've turned up the pressure, and all you have to do if you just get back a little bit more on defense. Once the initial pressure doesn't work. They're doing a great job of that now. Bush will trigger it. It's great. underneath. Great pass by Jenkins with Lauren two Bush. more. Better at 16 so far. 20 seconds. Looks like they may hold for one shot. Stolen and then lost out of bounds by Rachel Friend. 13 seconds. And RB Stall will put it in play. But you get one here. You're within single digits. Turn, shoots. Oh. Got it. Oh, oh, my. Alexis Ridge. Alexis Ridge with a Rucker Park move. Wow, that cuts it to an eight-point ball game at halftime. With the playground move from Electra's Richardson. Yeah, well, that, that, as I, we mentioned earlier, the game did not feel that close. Stahl could steal one here. Well, it's halftime here, 33-25 in favor of the Lady Seahawks over the Warriors from Stahl. You're watching the high school game of the week. On WHHI Sports. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. 
Mine recommends antacid tablets. And uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Hey everybody, I'm Chad and this week's Drive of the Week is right here at Hilton Head Ram at the New River Auto Mall. So right behind me is the 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. This is the Mac Daddy of trucks, folks. When we see this vehicle in just a moment, we'll go inside of it and check out all the really cool technology that the Ram brings for 2013. So let's go check it out. Now one thing about the Ram under the hood here, it's definitely packing some punch. We're talking about 395 horsepower, 407 foot-pounds of torque, and 10,450 pounds this bad boy can tow. So that's plenty of power and it has an eight-speed automatic transmission. Let's look at the interior of the Dodge Ram. First of all, the seats are absolutely comfortable to sit in. Leather wrapped seats on the outsides with canvas on the inside. Let's take a look at the steering wheel. Leather wrapped steering wheel also has audio controls, Bluetooth cell phone system, and voice activation for your navigation system with Uconnect. What's the next thing you might be thinking about? That 8.4 inch touchscreen display that does your navigation, audio controls, and a backup camera, and hundreds of more features. Take a look at the stereo system as well. Alpine is who put the stereo in the vehicle. It has 500 107 watts, nine speakers, and one subwoofer. We're talking about jamming out inside of the Ram 1500. Thank you for watching this week's Drive of the Week at Hilton Head Ram. Please stop by the dealership today to test drive a Ram 1500. It's a good time to drive a truck, folks. We'll see you soon. We got Connor and Connor. That's right, doing a halftime shootout tonight, live from New River Auto Mall right here at Hilton Head High School tonight. Uh, these guys are going to get out here and shoot the ball around a little bit. And come on, on both sides. 
Tonight you're gonna do a little shootout here, one three-point shot, one layup, and, uh, and one free throw. So when we hit the buzzer, these two guys will get out there and start shooting it out. I don't know about this one over here, but this guy looks like he's ready. I mean, Connor, you want to just go on your mark? Yeah. All right. On your mark, get set, go. There we go. We got a layup. We got another layup. Come on, Connor. Whoa. Come on, fellas. <laughs> Okay, we got a free throw over here. This guy's going for a three-pointer. All right, we got Connor right here on the right-hand side with a beautiful wig. Good job, Connor. <laughs> oh. What do we got? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Pull it Good job, buddy. Who won? <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Good job, man. Connor with a long box. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> nice game, Sonny. And uh, getting a t shirt from Salty Dog. What's going on? You want dark blue, dog? You sure? Yeah, Thanks, man. There you go. Both get t shirts nice. from Salty Dog Cafe. Check out this week's. Drive of the week, Hilton Head Ram with the Dodge Ram 2013 Sport. Hope you enjoy it. H, H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H, H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H, H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H, H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H, &H Auto. Welcome back here to Hilton Head High School where the Seahawks lead the Warriors 33-25. And as we mentioned, it seems like it should be a lot more, but suddenly it's it's an eight-point ball game. Chris. Yeah, we were talking at the break. Well, that's what you know, I'm sure Coach Greenberg reminded them of this. You know, that's why you have to finish plays, you have to finish layups, make your free throws. This could be a, if you're Hilton Head, you could be up about 17 right now. And when you let a team like Stahl hang around, they're young, and if they get some confidence, they're always going to be loose. Well, the Lady Seahawks will start with the ball here. Driving, scoring it. Oh, yep. Number 23. Good move. 
doing Atlanta more of that. First two points. Doing more of that north-south. Just get right to the rim. Good box out by Lauren Bush. And the ball thrown away. Faded inside, shot up, and scoring it is number 12, Essence Lawrence. Back to an eight point ball game. Pressure. Warren Bush beats it, feeds it ahead. And unable to score it, but rebound is Rachel Friends. Back to a 10 point game. Hilton has a, Hilton Head does a great job of just running the floor against that press once it's broken. A lot of other players, if they jog back, if, if Rachel Friend would have jogged back there, she would not have gotten that rebound and put back. Rebound to America. Jenkins feeds it ahead. That's nice old school move by Essence Lloyd, though. Warren Bush stops, pops. Good pull up. Can't get it to go. And here come the Lady Warriors. Kicking it out, three-pointer on its way. It won't go. Jenkins the rebound. Feeds it ahead to Friend. Drives it, puts it up, won't get it to go, but she'll go to the line. Once again, a Hilton head guard with a catch and gather, and then go to the basket off the dribble after that. If you just take your time, you can still get by that defender. Tonight's game brought to you by Salty Dog Cafe, where you can get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory, located at South Beach Marina and on Narrow Road. Or you can pick one up anytime at their website, saltydog.com. Rachel gets the first. 38-27. Second one up, and no good. Long pass down for it. Bush makes it an alter shot, but putting it up and in is Essence Lloyd. She's got 10 on the night. Yeah, she's everywhere she's supposed to be. Bush in the backcourt. What do we got? We got finally a blocking foul on number 11. That's Simpson. Zalaria Simpson, she'll, she'll learn as she gets a little bit older that you have the defender, you have the offensive player back there, and you're putting pressure on her. Don't bail him out with a foul. So, you know, it's eight, 80 feet from the basket. There is no 10 second call in, in ladies basketball. Exactly. So they or a shot clock. Good pass, good feed, good basket. Lauren Bush gets her sixth point of the night. Clearly the quarterback of this team. Well, yeah. Should have about 16 with the layoffs. She caught the reception on that one, though, from Savannah Ryan. Three-pointer again on its way. No good. Rebound up. No good. And finally taken down. Thrown away. Oh, we got her on the line. Oh, good, good save deal. by our crack crew here. They stopped eating long enough to save the basket. Yeah. So coming into our set. I'm impressed he put his sandwich down. That was... Didn't miss a bite uh, either. No. Oh, he's got a cookie. We've seen him make that the choice before, and you could lose an arm. I can't imagine what the budget must be for food on this WHHI TV <laughs> station. It's not for the talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we got? We got a call. Uh, we got a foul. And it's, uh, your voice is talent. Your voice is talent. They're just not the color guy. The color guys just they just dragged him in here. Well, I've got a voice that's made for radio. <laughs> So first the first oh, another good save. Jeremy, I'll tell you, he's, he is on top of it tonight. He got a compliment from the ref. Want to give our best wishes to Tom Jenkins. He's out with a little bit of under the weather, and uh, hope Tom gets back quick. We need a good cameraman. Jeremy's eating too much and not taking enough pictures. 
Warren Bush coming back with it the other way. Drives in and doesn't get it to fall. She cannot buy a basket. It, it's got a little bit of a lid on it. That oh wow, Savannah Ryer just covered a lot of ground right there. Steal, turn, puts it up and scoring it is Lauren Bush. And that's typical of Lauren Bush's demeanor. She didn't get rattled by missing a layup. She just filled the line when well, the lane when Savannah Rear made, made a uh, steal there and just finished the layup off the assist from Savannah. Rebound taken down in the corner. You gotta be careful with that ripped pass. Ripped away by Jenkins. The Seahawks doing a good job. Getting the ball on the forecourt. And settling it down is Ryer. Warren Bush has it rim out. Friend gets it. Jenkins gets it. Three chances at the rim and nothing to show for it. Ooh. Going back the other way, we got a block. They're going to get a block on Savannah Ryer. That was a very expensive block for Savannah Ryer. Ouch. Got hit pretty hard there. Just got there a little late. <laughs> 28 to go. Walgreens brings it tonight's game. Photo portraits are now available in storage at local Walgreens. Schedule an appointment today and reserve your memories for a lifetime. At Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. Lauren Bush had another one go in and out for her down there. You know, you can tell a lot about a player. If you see him on a night where they can't buy a basket and you still walk away pretty impressed, that's that's impressive. Otto Black puts it up. Can't get it to go. And it'll turn over to the Seahawks. 319 to go, 42-29 in favor of the Lady Seahawks. And we'll Well, we're gonna stay right here. Seahawks in the thick of it for playoffs. Try to get some pressure here if you're stall. But Hilton Head just not getting rattled by it. Well, well, there. <laughs> right, I, I spoke too soon. I was no good. I'll tell you. See, but Savannah, Savannah Ryer there, rather than getting frustrated after committing to turnover, she sprinted back. She sprinted back and uh, and came up with a rebound after the missed layup. That's a perfect example of never quitting on a play. Good job by Savannah Ryer. Jenkins gives it ahead to Savannah. Savannah waits for her teammates now. Need some help. Oh. That's too easy. Wow. Well, Jenkins, yep. that's her first two of this quarter, but good seal by Miracle Jenkins, but you, you got to have some weak side help there. You can't just be able to throw that lob pass from a defender that's pinned against the sideline. There's a three-pointer, a Walgreens three-pointer by number 32, Alexis Patrick. Our first three-pointer of the night. Doing it for Walgreens. They break it easily, driving all the way in, dropping it, putting it back out to Jenkins. They throw it up there, and usually she's going to get she's, it. I like her chances. <laughs> Ryer stops, pops, can't get it to go. But there's Jenkins. Gets, gets who? The rebound, cleans it up, and she'll try for a three-pointer. So she's got about 20, and now she's had it for a total of about 51 seconds. 139 to go here in the third quarter of play. Tonight's game brought to you by the New River Auto Mall, where they have it all. Over 1,000 vehicles and 12 dealerships, all in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall. Can't get the three-pointer to fall, but uh, does have 20 points on the night. Jenkins reaches in, and that'll be a foul. On her. Good move, I guess, Essence Lloyd showing some ability to get to the basket from the perimeter. Essence Lloyd at the line. Shoot two. 
got the first. So Campbell comes in, gives Jenkins a little rest. 1.30 to go here, third quarter of play. Essence Lloyd showing some versatility. We've seen her score just about every way you can. Got him as both. a basketball player. She's got 12 on the night. And there goes Lauren Bush. Drives it in, feeds it. Turning, shooting. No good. Lauren, Lauren. Bush might have been better off shooting that. Nice strip. Good hands there. Macy King. The last break for Lauren Bush on a two on one, you want to make sure that defender commits to you before you give it up. She never fully committed. Good hands there, quick hands. Knocks it away, shot off, and no good. But Destin's Lloyd right where she's supposed to be. Ball's on the floor, and Lauren Bush comes up with it. A blind pass to Old Norman. Feeds it up ahead. No good. Alexis Richardson's been a little quiet. They're probably going to need something out of her if they want to make a run here. 49 seconds and a shot up. We're going to get a blocking foul on Lauren Bush. She wants to travel. She's going to travel. She's going to have to go to her local travel agency. Yeah, she's not getting that call. She just has to get there a little early and stay still. Falling down helps too, by the way. First one is up, no good. So McLean has two on the night. Sights it, shoots it, doesn't get it, and ripping down the rebound is Zeon Campbell. To Jay McLean, another one of those freshmen that's in the rotation. O'Gorman drives it all the way in, doesn't get it. Lauren Bush does. She goes up and gets fouled. Good draw, good job drawing a foul there. Kind of created something out of nothing. She was not going to be denied. 34 seconds to go, third quarter. Lauren Bush wise beyond her years. You know, drawing fouls when they're not really there. Not a free throw shooter beyond her year. Now she's, uh, but she really is the, the, the glue to this team. And that's an overused expression sometimes, but if you're looking to define it, you just have to watch her. Can't get the free throws to fall. She has 10 points on the night. Driving in, putting in, putting it in is number 32, Alexis Patrick. Alexis Patrick, another freshman. Great move there, though. Bush is all alone underneath. Puts it up and can't get it to fall. <laughs> she is having a tough night shooting. Ball underneath. And I don't know who touched it, but they're going to say that the Seahawks did. So it'll stay with the 4.4 seconds. It's going to stay with the Lady Warriors. See if they got something in the middle. They're way outside. Going to have to shoot it. Doesn't. And that'll end the third quarter of play. 48-36 as the Seahawks lead it. You're watching the high school game of the week. On WHHI Sports. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor in patients. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. 
H H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H H Auto. We are back here at Hilton Head High School to start the fourth quarter play where the Lady Seahawks lead the Lady Warriors 48-36 with one quarter left to play. And it's going to be. You need something from Alexis Richardson here. The Warriors ball here to start it. Austin Seelbeck, the youngster, number 21, checks back in the lineup for the Seahawks. 12 points, not insurmountable. You just chip away in the first couple of minutes. Oh, come on, pay attention. It's a gentleman in the stands here that uh, is too busy well, That's texting. Wayne Morris. Oh, that's Wayne Morris? Oh, yeah. he's too busy texting his honey to uh, ball almost hit him in the head. In the corner. The producers are always on their blackberries. Well, he did knock away and we got a double dribble. So it'll turn over to the Seahawks. And Jenkins will trigger it. More pressure here from Stahl. Just want to make sure you have someone back. Good pass by Stahl. Well, Savannah Ryer. It up, Savannah Ryer's done a fantastic it. job against this press. Austin Seelbeck. Austin Seelbeck yet again in the, in the right place as an eighth grader. Good strong Shot move. up and good by number 33, Alexis Richardson. Alexis Richardson made some tough shots tonight. Ball's knocked away. He'll stay with the Seahawks. 7-14 to go in the ball game. with it feeds it inside looking for some help now finds it shot is partially blocked and it goes out of bounds and it's going to go over to let's see it's going to stay with the seat no it's going to go over to the to, uh, stall Six forty-nine to go with a 12 point lead for the Seahawks A lot of travel in there. Well, it doesn't go anyhow. Alexis Shy Richardson limit. just trying to create something. Inside. Oh, good no look good pass. Oh. Good rebound. Good pass. Basket. Jenkins now has 22 by my count. She'll try and make it 23 at the line. Good no-look pass by Savannah Ryer there. Jenkins only a sophomore. Missed it. And Stahl Still Keith Jackson the on there with the sophomore? Yes, yeah, sophomore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Michi uh, you're, a, you're a Notre Dame grad. I'm sure he's done a few of those games. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Around 
the corner. Are we got a hold? Yes, we do. Again, just a little impatient defensively. Sometimes you get that, that player trapped in the quarter. You almost want to make something happen when all you have to do is really just play good D and it'll happen for you. Side of Jenkins. Tough shot. Doesn't get it to fall. And Stahl will come the other way with it. She never has to fall away. If she just goes up strong every time. Oh, good pass. Very good pass. From the freshman. Wow. Good look by, by Zalaria Simpson there. The basket. Good move. And we're going to travel. Five thirty to go in the ball game. Referees love to make that call. You just have to make sure you keep that pivot foot still. Shot up, no good. Rebound, stall. Puts it back up, can't get it to fall. Ripping it down. Here Stall just can't break through. If they could go on a if they even get two buckets in a row with a stop, they're back Fire, in. Fire, wide open hole. Oh. Feeds it off, doesn't go. Good look for Austin Sealback, though. It looks like she had the lane open, but I'm yeah, she likes that little off. ten foot jumper. Friend with it and the rebound. She'll try and settle things down a little bit. You don't have to reach here. Good. All the way in, and she knows where to feed it. Isn't that the truth? Jenkins with 24. We got a little bit of travel here? I think so. And some subs coming in. Tonight's game brought to you by Walgreens. Photo portraits are now available in storage at your local Walgreens. Schedule an appointment today and preserve your memories for a lifetime. At Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. And by the New River Auto Mall, where they have it all. Over 1,000 vehicles at 12 dealerships, all in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall. Feed to Lauren Bush. Good nice job feed. taking her time by Lauren Bush, not rushing that. Sometimes when you, if it's not your night, you tend to rush those. Feed inside. Oh, well. Okay. So JJ McClain just looking for a foul there. Just go up strong. Don't worry about the other defenders. Good cut by her. Good strong move too. Renan O'Gorman should expect him. Get my Irish brogue going. Speaking of fighting Irish. <laughs> there you go. There's O'Gorman with it. Another sophomore though making good decisions. Yep. And on the floor. Timeout is called. We got a timeout called by the Seahawks. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the high school game of the week on WHHI Sports. At Buford Academy, we place emphasis first on academic success, but also on the whole child by encouraging participation in school sports and clubs. The BA community offers a safe and nurturing environment. Buford Academy continues to be the best choice for our children. With small class sizes, we make big impressions. Buford Academy is the reliable school of choice, educating young people for almost 50 years. BA, experience the difference firsthand. We are back at the nest here at Hilton Head High School. Dale Planica alongside Chris Conifree and uh, the Lady Seahawks lead the Warriors from stall. 56-40 with 3.47 to go in the ball game. Almost stolen. O'Gorman has it, drives it, looks, kicks it outside now. No reason to rush here if you're Hilton Head. You're up 16. 
Just get a good look when you get one. Breyer beats it. Lauren Bush has it in the corner. Double teamed and stolen. Run back the other way. Here's Stahl all the way in, driving, putting it up, and can't get it to fall. Here comes O'Gorman the other way, and it's going to be stolen. Another good move by Deja Butler, though. Another freshman. What do we got? So we got a foul. A little frustration foul there. Yeah. This for as young as they are, this this tall team's got a bright future. This Hilton Head team's good. Well, both these you know, teams are really young. Absolutely. Hilton has got a little more leadership. I mean, you have Lauren Bush. She's a sophomore, but she started since she got here. Ooh. Good crossover move there. Essen Floyd. Essen showing that skill set. She's got 16 on the Ooh, night. Good move there by Savannah. Breyer feeds it inside. A little bit too low for Jenkins. She kicks it out to Lauren Bush, puts it up, got it. Lauren Bush now with 14. Driving all the way in and scoring it is Valeria Simpson. Valeria Simpson's gotten more and more impressive as the game's gone on. We mentioned, you know, she's there because of her skill set, not just athleticism. Lauren Bush goes down hard. She can't get up. Get an injured player on the course. Got up, no good. They're still playing. And now they'll take timeout, and that's Lauren Bush down and holding her. Right knee went down a little, a little, little funny when she made that crossover move at half court. So there'll be a timeout on the court. We'll take it with them. You're watching the high school game of the week on WHHI Sports. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Oh, Salvador. Oh, Salvador. You're sly as a fox, Salvador. Captain Charity sitting in a tree, a kiwi waving back at me. But it won't you be the Salvador. Okay, folks, we're back here at the nest at Hilton Head High School where you know, a hush has fallen over the crowd as they carried Lauren Bush off the court. Yeah. Hopefully, she went down a little funny on that crossover move she made at half court. Hopefully she'll be okay. Uh, she's a superstar no matter what she's gonna, what's going to happen. So she's, uh, you know, eventually she's going to be okay. It'll be just be a matter of time. It's clearly in a lot of pain. There's a long pass down court. Driving, putting it up, and scoring it at number 12. That's Macy King. So Macy, the senior, gets a bucket. She's got eight on the night. Yeah, you don't want to make any guesses on what happened to her, but... My well, money's on her best. to come back from it. I can tell you that. Shot up, no good. Rebound up and not being able to score. Get over the back. Good box out by Savannah Ryer. Again, more fundamentals uh, on this Hilton Head ball club. 1.30 to go in the ball game, and it's a 16-point lead in favor of the Seahawks. Now this Hilton Head team for, for such a we mentioned they're a young team. You never see one player at a position defensively offensively anywhere. They're just always everywhere they're supposed to be. They always make the right pass. Just a tremendous job by David Greenberg. From a coaching standpoint. Well Ryer will go to the line shooting one in the bonus. We have all three of our seniors from the Lake Seahawks out there. 
Rebound. Jenkins tries to feed it. Timeout. Nope. Well, they're going to jump ball. And it's going to stay with the Seahawks. We got all, all three seniors out there. Shai Fleming, Macy King, and Aureli Fernandez. <laughs> and the eighth grader. What, an awesome seal back? She's a senior at the middle school. <laughs> That's right. One 16 and counting here. A good night for the Seahawks, uh, with, but could be overshadowed. Hopefully it's just a minor injury. Yeah, we hope so. Warren Bush. What do we got? This uh, five-second call. Yeah. Also worth, worth mentioning, Jeff Emery, the coach of Stahl, went over there very concerned when Laura Bush went down. And these are two teams that aren't even close to each other. And he, a class move by him showing, showing his concern for the opposing player. Three-pointer up on the way and scoring it is Essence Lloyd. That's a Walgreens three-pointer. The second of the night. Also, and Lloyd has scored just about every possible way you could score a basket as a basketball player tonight. Well, 52 seconds to go. We're going to stay right here. It's a quick timeout there taken by Stahl, but uh, we'll stay right here with him as the Seahawks continue to lead by 13 uh, here towards the end of the ball game. We'll, we'll talk to the winning coach if we get a yeah. chance. I'm not sure if we'll be able to grab him. Yeah, uh, I'm sure he's, he'll be. he's got more important things, obviously. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Stahl just showing some inexperience here. They got a bright future. Had some flashes of some brilliance. Hilton is just so so poised. Just, they don't really give you. They don't make any mistakes and never give you a chance. Good steal. Blocked from behind. Here comes the ball the other way. Here's this eighth grader. Yeah. Back. It's tough to play against talented and poised. Usually you get one or the other. So Fernandez gets fouled and she'll go to the line shooting one and the bonus. Fernandez had a basket in the first quarter. Aurelia. Sights it, shoots it, can't get it. Good learning experience for st for Stahl though, coming down and playing a tough game on the road. Still only makes them 14 and six. That's a heck of an achievement for having that many ninth graders in your rotation at a sophomore. Good defense by Fernandez, and she was able to knock it out of bounds. 20 seconds to go. And stolen. Good D by Miracle Jenkins. Just going Campbell. straight up and getting the block. Fernandez puts it up. Huh? Can't get it to go. Ball going the other way. Good defense. Good defense. Seal back. Shot up. No good. And that's the end of the ball game. Final score here: the Lady Seahawks over the Lady Warriors, 60 to 47. I'm Dale Glenica, Chris Conifer alongside, and. Back to wrap it up. You're watching the high school game of the week on WHHI Sports. At Buford Academy, we place emphasis first on academic success, but also on the whole child by encouraging participation in school sports and clubs. The BA community offers a safe and nurturing environment. Buford Academy continues to be the best choice for our children. With small class sizes, we make big impressions. Buford Academy is the reliable school of choice, educating young people for almost 50 years. BA, experience the difference firsthand. We're back here at the high school game of the week and we've got the winning coach from the Lady Seahawks tonight over the uh, Warriors and uh, Dave, uh, Good game, good strong game. A uh, little, little bit of concern there at the end. Oh yeah, a lot of concern. Lauren's a great player and really important to us. And hopefully she'll, uh, the injury's not that serious, but I don't know. She's a tough kid and 
she was hurting, so it could be uh, pretty bad. Um, on the bright side, uh, I thought our kids worked hard and played hard, and um, you know it was a big win for us. It guarantees us no worse than third in the region. Thursday's night, Thursday night's game will guarantee whether we're second or third in, in the seeding. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, without Lauren, uh, we'll have to see what her situation is. That'll make it tough. Coach, one of the things we kept saying all night, your team, everyone on your team, everywhere they're supposed to be. How do you get such a young group to stay so poised? You, th you think so, huh? Um, our practices really work with, really pride themselves on defensive basics and fundamentals. That's what we focus on. And that's what we work, spend most of our time working on. I thought Shy did a terrific job on uh, Richardson kid for them. And uh, kids played hard and worked hard, so I'm really happy about that. Coach, again, congratulations, a great game. 60 to 47, the final score. You're watching the high school game of the week. On WHHI Sports. Welcome back to the post-game show here. The Lady Seahawks beat the Warriors from Stahl High School tonight, 60 to 47. And we have with us Miracle Jenkins, only a sophomore. She had 24 points tonight for the Seahawks. Great game, Miracle. Thank you. Uh, Miss Jenkins, I'm gonna call you Miss Jenkins. You had 24 and 12. Uh, you're only a sophomore, as, as we mentioned. Um, you got scoring and rebounding covered. What do, you, what do you need to do to get better as you get older? I'm planning on working on my ball handling. That's something that I struggle with a lot and probably finishing my post moves. You finished them pretty well tonight. I mean, yeah. <laughs> just going to finish them even better? Yeah, I just want to do better. Are you, are you more proud of your defense or your offense? My offense because I'm not too good on defense. That's another thing I might need to work on. So. Now how long have you been playing basketball? Probably all my life. I started from rec and ever since then I play. Okay. Well, that's great. It was a great game tonight, 24 points. You guys are in the playoffs, and uh, hopefully you'll have a full team for that. Yeah. Thank you. That's it from the high school game of the week as the Seahawks took it 60-47 to over the Warriors from Stahl High School. You've been watching the high school game of the week. On WHHI Sports.